A warning from me, Ben. While all opinions shared by me in this video are generally accurate in relation to the rides and parks they apply to, some opinions are over-exaggerated. As a result, please do not take offence to any opinion shared. Enjoy the video. Is Chessington better than Legoland? Is Fort Park better than Alton Towers? Does the smile look like a good roller coaster? It's all coming up in this video. But first of all, if you've not seen part 6, then what are you doing? I'll put a link to in the card in the top right. Go and check that out before you check this out. Because this video is going to make so much more sense uh, if you can watch that first. And that's due to the fact that, that you know, those of you who have seen the last episode and... If you've not seen it yet, go back and click that card now. Um, you'll know that it was a long episode. It was originally meant to be one episode, one long video. Uh, but I split it into two parts based on a poll I did on Instagram asking you guys. You know, me and Kirsten overran. It was an hour long episode. So like, do you want me to upload the entire thing in one go? Or do you want me to split it into two parts? And you guys said that you want me to split it into two parts. Which is why we have a video or part 6.5 here uh, this is the second part of that original video and it's a theme park debate me and Kirsten got into a massive debate in the second half of the video about all things UK theme park related and that's coming up for you guys right now so enjoy Kirsten is going on a spectacular trip to Alton Towers this weekend so yeah, and then she's going back to away. school the week after so from now on it might be every two weeks there might be an episode next saturday but after that it might be every two weeks so yeah yeah um, that's what we might have to do uh, we might have to do it every two weeks and kirsten's going to be getting on some great coasters and getting some new credits yeah she's going to be going Can't on wait. Rides. <laughs> she's going to be going on rides such as nemesis uh wicker man rita 13 Oblivion, Spinball Wizard, The Smiler. She's already been on Spinball Wizard, but yeah, if they're all open. Yeah, like years ago. I hope they are. It's I mean, a I'm very, two days, it's a very, so. very underrated coaster. Is Spinball Wizard? Many, some say it's yeah. better than <laughs> some say it's better than Dragon's Fury. Others say it's not. I don't know. I don't think it is. I reckon it, Dragon's nah, to, no, to me, Spin Fury's better. No, to me, Spinball looks better. To me, Spinball looks better than Dragon's Fury. No, Dragon's Fury's got like a much better layout. No, like, no, it's just better. longer. It's that just well good. It's just longer. No, Dragon's Fury. I've done both of right. them, and Dragon's Fury's got a much better, like more yeah. fun layout. Not everyone agrees, though. I'm just saying, not everyone agrees. Most people, most people agree. Though. No, my friend doesn't. Spinball Wizard. Well, theme park, most people theme, theme do. Park, theme park family doesn't agree. He said Spinball Wizard. And theme park oh. family or coaster done actually now. People is... do. Quite a lot of people do. But yeah. you haven't done Dragon. You haven't done Dragon's Fury. No, I've done. Say. No, I've done Vampire, and I'm quite annoyed because Kirsten doesn't like it. But yeah. I, l I like Vampire. Well, I think it's well, a bit overrated. Well, maybe, but I don't know. Well, let me. Well, let me throw this one in there and annoy you. I think Jessington's overrated. Really overrated. It's not even uh, like no. that. I don't think it's that good a park, to be honest. I'm not a big fan. I feel like it was when Ramus' Revenge yeah. was there. Then so I, I honestly, I honestly think, me. yeah, I honestly think Chessington's the worst Merlin park in the UK. I'm putting it out there. I think it's the worst Merlin park in the UK. Because, I don't know. It depends what you're looking no, for. Cause it's more of a family park. No, no, but it? even Legoland, it's just got more memorable things, and it's got more there. It's just better, bigger. It's, I'm not going to lie, Legoland's coasters aren't the best, but, I mean, Chessington... No, I think Chessington's better than Legoland. It's, it's really not, apart from the coasters. The, Chessington has some decent coasters. It needs more coasters. It needs, like, another high throughput ride, as does Legoland. But, apart from that, with Chessington, you've literally got Tiger Rock, Ruffalo, which they destroyed Bubble Works, which is stupid Chessington. You are absolutely stupid for doing that. That was a brilliant ride, and you broke the hearts of lots of people. And for that, oh, no, was really for sad that, when I got rid of it. And for that alone, you you deserve bad karma. And also, it's got 
uh, Scorpion Express, which is uh, basically a flying, is good. It's a flying fish clone, but it, to be honest, it does look better because it has more theming around it. Whereas Flying Ex, I mean, um, no, flying, yeah, flying fish is literally just the coaster plays down painted blue. Oh, flying fish is my number one at Thought Park, so and no, mm. I think a lot of people would agree with me. Hmm. Uh, anyway, what else have you got? Well, you got Tiger Rock. Cobra's, Van... Cobra's really good. I love Cobra. Yeah, and then you got that. Dragon's Fury is really good. You got so that Tomb Blast. You got that Tomb Blaster Dragon's Fury, but that's it. You know, not much going for it. That's all you've got. There's Lego Land. A lot of stuff no, no, yeah, no, like... no, no, no. It's overrated. I'm not going back apart from Dragon's Fury, Tiger Rock. Then I'm leaving and going to Fort. But Lego Land. You've got a haunted house monster party, which looks brilliant. You've got the Duplo Dino Coaster, which isn't that great, but it looks all right for kids. Dragon's Apprentice is a good junior coaster. The Dragon is a spectacular family coaster. And then you've got loads of well-themed dark them. rides. And you've got loads of well-themed dark rides. It's a much better park. I don't know. I, think, I don't and, think and it rattles, is. And Rattlesnake, 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 Rattlesnake's just a terrible wild mouse. Death trap. No, it's not. I love Rattlesnake. It was literally my mm. first kind no. of. No, Matterhorn, you know, I... Matterhorn Blitz at Europa Park's the best wild mouse. That thing well, is amazing. I haven't amazing. done that one, so. But I think it's. I think it's a really good theme park. No, it's not. Like, I think. It, I think look... at the same time it annoyed me they removed Ramsey Event. Exactly. That was the best Even ride you admit. There. But Even you at admit. the same time it's still got some yeah, great but, rides. Yeah, but really they're, ma they're making. Yeah, but it's a bad part, and they're making bad decisions. They need a coaster, desperately. The thing is, the thing is it's not that as much, because they have Lego Thought Park and Alton Towers with yeah. bigger coasters, and yeah, but the is, South, is yeah, a but family the, park. Yeah, but the South is just let down for coasters. You need to fry through Park. Really? Because you've got Thought Park. Yeah, but that's it. At North, we've got Pleasure Beach, Flamingo Land, and Alton Towers. Which all have yeah, well, those really aren't good Merlin, coasters. Though, are they? Two of those aren't Merlin, are they? No. Yeah, but the thing... And what annoys me is Merlin don't put enough money into Thorpe. They put it all... Yeah, that does annoy me. They hate Thorpe. And Thorpe, honestly, I'm not going to lie, I think Thorpe might be my favourite Merlin park in the UK. Because... You haven't, you haven't gotten it yet, have you? So... No, but I, yeah, but I have very high hopes for Thorpe. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a, it's just a really good park. But it at the puts, same time, it it's puts more money put into yeah, it. Yeah, it puts Chessington and Legoland to shame. Put it that way. But to be fair, it is a thrill seekers park. But when I compare, that's the thing, you know. But I mean, the thing is, I just enjoyed, you know, I just enjoyed Legoland so much more than Chessington when I went. I'm not been for Legoland. I don't, Legoland. not really. I did not enjoy Chessington last time I went. I just lapped vampire most of the I love of the Chessington. Day. I don't like it. It's basically, well, I mean, half of it's a zoo, to be fair, and zoos don't really interest me. I know they interest you a lot, which is probably one of the reasons why you like Chessington a lot. Oh, no, I don't, I don't mind the zoo. I think it's a pretty good zoo. There's, like, a lot of stuff to do with The weird thing is... It's, Plus, it's it is more of a family park, whereas Legoland's more of a kid park. No, Legoland's but, a kid park, No, but they, Chessington's no, more of a family park. Lit, no, but if they made literally a couple of moves with Legoland, they put a nice family high throughput coaster in, you'd be onto an amazing park with Legoland. Because I'm not going to lie, I think Legoland. Yeah, we're talking about what they have right now, what, not what they could have, because like, yeah, Chessington Lego... could get like a really great ride or something, you know, but it's not, you know, but we're talking about yeah. what it actually has. Well, I don't, I don't you believe know, in... I think. I don't believe in Chessington, though, because they keep making. I'm. I'm telling you now, if if they get rid of Vampire, I will never forgive them. I'm telling you now. I don't think they will. I think they will get rid of Vampire. I think it is safe, especially because they put the new soundtrack on it, but... They won't I... get rid of Vampire for a long time, definitely not. By the way, am I allowed to live in your house, or do I need to build my own? Yeah, you have to build your own. Aw, for goodness sake. I've not been treated very nicely... You know, even though I, I know I did slate Chessington, but it's my opinion, so she can't say anything. Well, you didn't help. You barely helped at all with my house, so you no. Make your... Yeah, no, but you were always like, oh, you can't live here. You've got to live by yourself. So make your mind up. You can't just expect me to do these things. I'm chopping down trees, and yeah, I'm gonna probably. Well, gonna... I mean. I'm probably gonna slate Chessington some more because why not? I think Bolton's looks better than it. 
Portons looks like. Portons is how a family park should be done. Portons, yeah. That's how. But it's it kind of. Portons houses a bit of everything, don't it? Yeah, but then I do feel that. Well, they've kind of fixed this with Wicker Man, but I do think it does. I, what I think Alton Towers does is kind of the two extremes, and then when it comes to the family rides in the middle, that's where it lacks most. Which, to be fair, is where Chessington picks up. And I do think that, overall, the ride variety at Towers is a lot better than Chessington's. Uh, just because it covers... Like, Towers is like the all-round Merlin Park, let's face it. But I think Grant Gangster Granny the ride's actually a really good move for them. Because I think that'll thrill in, like, the middle market. And they need a new dark ride because Ju Jewel is trash. And Hex is amazing, not going to lie. Oh, Jewel looks really good. Wait, have you just done something? Because your voice has completely changed through this. No, my AirPods ran out, so I had to change to actual earphones. It <laughs> no, but it actually sounds clearer, your voice now. So maybe... It's should... pretty because I have, like... It's pretty because I have a proper mic on here. Like, nim, yeah. you know. You know what? You know what? You can use this from now on if you want, because that sounds really good. Like, that's crystal clear. That's, like, nearly... Oh, okay. That's as clear as my microphone. No, Jewel is overrated. It's oh, it's it's. Oh, run Jewel's down. quite fun. Tomb Blaster. But, I mean, I'm looking forward to doing it. Yeah. Tomb Blaster is well yeah. fun. I love it. Yeah, it is better than Jewel. Take that, Chessington. I'm actually saying something good about you for once. Wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, um, I think yeah, Jewel is terrible. Um, Hex is Hex is brilliant. Like that is a brilliant. Like it's so, look, yeah, it's so good the app. Just... It's better than Cassandra's Curse at Europa Park. That's a trashy madhouse. That. <laughs> that is yeah. Um, it looks amazing. I honestly can't wait to do it. Yeah, I've only ever done I it. I feel once. like Alton Towers just needs more flats. Yeah, it exactly. Flat that's rides. the thing, and that's why I think Alton Towers is a bit overrated. People say it's the best in the UK, but honestly, now I've done some more research about Thorpe. I actually think that probably has the best, apart from the coasters, because it doesn't have many middle coasters, the best, but really has the best variety of rides in a Merlin well, Park. I think, yeah. I think it does. Like, it's so, I think just because Forks are renowned for being full of teenagers smoking and whatever and massive coasters, it, but now I've done my research about it, Fort has gone up a lot in terms of my anticipated parks, like, yeah, I think for, that's what I'm saying. I think Fort is the best Merlin. I'm not obviously not been, but I honestly think I'll think it's the best Merlin park. I think it will be the best Merlin park. Yeah. That's what I, I reckon. I think you'll prefer Fort to Towers, to be honest. I don't know, but I think you'll prefer. I Fort. don't know. I just yeah, the but, thing is, I think it's got more. It obviously, it's got more coasters at Towers, so I feel like it, yeah, Towers is better on the coasters. I'd probably say, but I mean, apart from that. I mean, Thorpe also, yeah. Thorpe also doesn't have any good dark rides, but then Towers has Hex, and then Jewel, let's just not count that. Because, oh, yeah. Yeah, Jewel is really, Jewel looks really good though, I feel like. The best Merlin, I'd say the best Merlin, the best Merlin Park in terms of its dark rides is probably Legoland, I'd say. Because that looks like it has some good dark rides, actually. Okay. Like, do they have? I only have like the monster party one, and they have the. They have the uh, submarine thing, don't they? I forgot what it's oh, called. Oh yeah, that, that looks that's good. Not, that's not that great, to be honest. Yeah, but, the, like that's a bit yeah, but aren't they upgrading it? Upgrading it? They're upgrading it, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, right. But, get, I mean, I'm getting some wood. Getting they some... have one similar to Tomb Blaster, though I can't think of what it's yeah. actually called. But it's, it's Merlin, isn't it? They just go, let's put all of, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's definitely not as good as as Chessington. I think but... it is. I think it is. Legoland. I'm, I just remember really enjoying it. When, by then I was a kid, but I just remember really enjoying it. And then Chessington. You probably have different opinions on it, like if you go when you're. To older. be fair, I enjoyed Chessington when I was a kid, but then last time I was really underwhelmed. It just did not do much for me, at all. Sorry, Chessington. Also, yeah, yeah, that's all that needs. What is that noise? 
What's what noise? There was like some water noise in the background. Oh, oh it's, it's probably you. it's probably me. So I'm what making are you a farm. Doing? I took yeah, making a farm. Just like so I so I can't live in your house then. No. I already said no. Aw. I love, I want my own house. Right, well I'm gonna build mine Enderman proof because yours isn't Enderman proof. I mean, you can't have it a two ceiling. No, you can have two. You can't have just two and a half. Two block up. No, you can do two and a half. Two and a half. Two oh, that's no. I can't be bothered for that. Two, I'd rather not. No, two and blocks. not that bad. I don't mind. Yeah, do, do two two blocks, one half slab. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's I can't what be bothered I, for that. Yeah, but I always want to end the man proof my house. And we're not that bad. Plus, I'll get you ender pearls. Yeah, but I don't want them spawning in my house when I'm trying to sleep. So, yeah. Mm. You see, I, I, I like to make my house very safe. <laughs> yeah. Um. How long have we been recording, actually? I have no idea. I feel, like, I feel like it's a while, but I think... But because we've been sleeping at night, I'll probably do... We'll probably wait until it goes... The sun sets here, and then we'll end it in the morning. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's sometimes hard to tell how long we've been recording. I'm using, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. I'm using your crafting table, because I don't have one. And Wait, it's mine. Right. It's my crafting You can at least table. ask. No, but it's mine. I made that. Oh, right, and it's yours house. then. Just take it. I made that. Sorry, I have to... my own crafting table. I'm probably going to be... Imagine if Ches someone from Chessington watches this video. I'm going to be getting complaints. But... Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> I'll be like, they'll go on my channel, find my email address, and yeah, I'll be getting an email. Because <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what it'll be like. I, we all realise you've given us some criticism of our park. Um, we've deeply offended. Oh, <laughs> I've messed it up. What? Oh. Aww. I meant to do a three blocks up and then like half slab across and then it's like two and a half and I've done two blocks up and then crafted them all into half slabs. <laughs> well, well oh, done. But, it, but it's all right, people. I've got some more birch wood. Um, I didn't craft them all into half slabs. Ignore basically what I just said. I just placed some half slabs down. But yeah, I predict once I've been to Fort, uh, I'll just say this, because why not? Uh, and then you can say yours if you want. My top 10 rides in the UK. And when I've ridden the Smiler, because I've not done that yet, but I will be next time and do Towers. I predict my top 10 rides will be as follows. Number one, Icon. Number two. No, this is UK, by the way, so... Yeah, because <laughs> obviously I've done outside you. Right, number one, Icon. Number two... Stealth slash swarm because I can't really tell which I'll prefer. Number three, and stealth. Number three, stealth slash swarm. Number four, wicker man because that's number two at the moment. Number five, saw. No, no, sorry. Number five, nemesis because it's number three at the moment. Number six, saw. Number seven, the smiler. Number eight, big one. Number nine, revolution. And number 10, what's number 10 at the moment for me? <laughs> uh, Galactica, because that's number, yeah. Something like that. Although I might, although, yeah, although, although the Smiler might be lower, it really depends how rough it is. If that ride's rough, I'll be giving it some slate and I won't be, I don't think, and I won't be keeping yeah. quiet about it because some of the track profiling on it does not look nice. I like, don't reckon it's as rough as people say. I like, reckon it is. Trust me. If people say that Saw is rough, but it's not. Yeah, but I mean... Oh, I've rough got rough a notification. I thought I switched my notifications off uh, from Zero G Media YouTube channel. I didn't know I was... Sub <laughs> yeah, I did know I was subscribed to that. Right, don't show me notifications. Go away. Right, we're just going to have, have to have that in the bottom right of the screen. As you requested. Uh, uh, I didn't read the rest of that. I think the Smiler looks rougher than Colossus, but Colossus may well. No, be... I think Colossus is definitely yeah, the... rougher. No, but... Colossus is awful. No, it... yeah, it probably is, but it doesn't look rough. Like it's just because. It... Of... No, when me... you're in park and you hear it squeaking, is it yeah. like going round the corners? Yeah, no, but then when yeah, you... you'll see. 
Yeah, but I know. It definitely yeah, looks rough. Yeah, but when you look at the track on POVs, it it's actually looks kind of smooth. And then when you look at the smiler, it's not smooth. No, it's inv- the problem on the smiler is the main. My main concern is that last part of the Cobra roll. You fly into it and it banks so tightly out of it. Like that's such bad profiling. Like, why is this? I mean, Colossus is a hundred percent going to be rougher than Smiler. Hundred percent. Well, probably is, but. I don't think I'll rate the Smiler, because uh, inversions don't make a better coaster. I mean, how would you rate Colossus if it wasn't rough? Probably like five. What do you mean? Oh. At the moment, five or not my top ten. Right, that's fair, because I'd probably rate it the same. Inversions don't necessarily... Just because I've got, it, for me, it's um, Stealth, Saw, Swarm, and then really? Nemesis Inferno. Really? Swarm at three? Yeah. Really? I prefer Saw. I prefer Saw to it. Really? I love the theming for Saw. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I've watched the Saw films, I absolutely love the theming. Like, it's just done they, so well. They sound... And I've... it's not rough. I don't get when people say it's rough. They just to watch me, it when they say right, it's rough. In, your def- in, that, in its defence, I've done speed at Oakwood, a Eurofighter. People have said that rough. It was as smooth as anything, but... I, I mean, obviously the Smiler is a Gerslar as well, but that's an Infinity and it looks rough. Whereas Speed didn't look rough. And it wasn't rough. Saw doesn't look rough either. So It's not rough. Anybody who says Saw is rough is a worse. Sorry, well, but it has to well, be said. Even, well, even this, well, even, you know that guy? Not... You know that guy whose name begins with J? Who, um, who's... Um, uh, uh, well, who hates Smiler. Yeah, and he doesn't like rough coasters. He doesn't mind Saw, so yeah. And he doesn't mind Colossus either, so yeah. Well, Col- Colossus is very rough. Like, you, know, you can't, nobody yeah. can deny it. It's exactly. rough. It looks like the, yeah. Well, it it honestly just it hurts doesn't, my brain, it, it, it. It doesn't look rough to me, but I trust it's rough because everyone says it is, apart from Jay. Uh, but yeah, um, for me, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry, but... Uh, the Smiler does seem a bit overrated, even if I do like it, it does seem over like although it looks like an amazing poster to me. And I can't wait for it. Uh, it look it looks either like it's going to be amazing or awful, and I can't decide which until I've been on it. And I'm annoyed that I can't ride it because I I want to ride it to see what. I hate the theming of it though, and I hate the soundtrack. The theming looks so good. It's awful. It's, and the station's as ugly as anything. Have you seen that station? It's so. I mean, it looks good. It's not. It lo- looks really well themed. It's not as well themed as Saw, but still. No. Right. Like. I'm, and, I'm, and I'm sorry to offend fans of the Smiler, but most of them are absolute idiots. I'm sorry. Like, just most people who like it. With That's a, a bit exception. rude. No, but apart from Edith from Edo Coasters, Tilly from Catching Frills, because I know it's their favourite rides. Most people who think it's a favourite ride are just... I'm sorry, but you're just idiots. You don't like people having an opinion about... You're like, if you don't like the Smiler, don't talk to me. Like, I, there's a few of us as well. You're not You're not all bad. I've but... done the Smiler, so you don't know if it's actually good or not no, in your opinion. No, no, but I'm talking about the people who like it. I'm talking about the people who's, who like the fans it has. Some of them, like, don't get me wrong. There's really huge fans of it, like loads of people, and I really like it. And, and they're uh, fine; they're not idiots. Yeah. No, but some people, there's some people. There's a lot of people. right. You, you, well, you probably. So well, you went from saying that all of them are idiots. No, what, to like only no. people who aren't your friends <laughs> to. No, or some people. Right. No, Edith from Edo Coasters, Tilly from Capture and Thrills are amazing people, but some other people who like it. And this is a high proportion of people who've seen who it's their favourite ride. And you might have uh, come across different people to me. And idiots, because they don't... They're just like, oh, you can't you can't hate this ride or whatever. That's probably why... That That's probably... That's Go pro- to Fulton Towers, it's my favourite ride. That's, pro- that's probably why... That's why probably why a certain person whose name begins with J thinks some of the enthusiasts don't like him. And it's... Because I... Right, I'm talking... Because I... I Oh, I'm, I don't want to like expose him or anything, but trust me, I've seen stuff which backs up my view of some people who were fans of the Smiler. And I'm talking about, I'm, can I be clear? I'm talking about people who it's their favourite ride, not like number two or three, that's irrelevant. People who it's their favourite ride and are like proper enthusiasts of it. 
and go crazy when they walk into X Sector. Oh, I'm, I feel like it could be one of my favourite rides. I feel like Probably. it. Could, I feel like it could go either way. Like, don't no. I feel. I don't reckon that I won't like it. Like, yeah. I'm like a hundred percent sure that I will like it. Right. But can I just clarify something though? I what for people who do love the Smiler. So I'm talking to everyone. Uh, I mean, I mean Tilly, if you're watching. Edith, if you're watching, I respect your love for the Smiler. What I don't respect is people who love the Smiler who won't let people prefer anything else. That's what I'm on about. Because some people who like the Smiler are like that. So yeah, I'm done with my rant now. And I think it's nearly time to end, but I haven't checked out. I feel like I've not done very much this video, but I have built a house. Um, wait, I need to put my bed in it, don't I? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good idea. Um, but yeah, seriously, like, I mean, yeah. Um, what well, I forgot what I was going to say. So if you, don't worry, if you come to me and say, uh, back and say the smile is your number one, I won't disown you or anything, okay? Can I be clear? So if people like that, just anyway. What do you mean? There are people who love Rita and stuff. You know, with like all coasters, there are people like that. True, so, but I mean, yeah, it's yeah, not true. just. Man. No, I know, I, I know it's not, but the Smiler seems to have a high proportion of people like that. It's because it's a good coaster by the looks of it. Yeah, but then others say it's overrated. But then people say Icon's overrated. So he yeah. said, I feel like Wickman's overrated though. I know a lot of people it is, me it say is it. overrated by some people but who say it's like the best coaster in the UK. I'm sorry, it's not. I've it's heard close. people say that it's it'd only be it's only good because of the theme in, and like if not, it'd be a terrible coaster. It wouldn't. So, it wouldn't. I know. It wouldn't. It if you go in with that mindset, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, it's what I'd say with Wicker Man is it's a good. It's the pre-show. Wow, like that's amazing. Like. The theming on Wicker Man is very, very good. It shows how far I think Merlin have come since the Smiley because the theming on that is nowhere near as good as Wicker Man. Like, Wicker Man could do with some more theming. Like, I don't think it's as good as themed as Swarm, but, like, by the looks of it, because Swarm has, like, more Amazing. theming, like, round the themed. area. But it is very, very well it's, themed. Yeah, Swarm is a whole island. <laughs> um, yeah, Swarm is probably the best theme coaster in the UK by the looks of it. Apart from I think Swarm, Swarm, is, Swarm but... yeah, yeah. Swarm, Swarm and Swarm are probably just better just for the indoor bit. Yeah, it's, yeah, that looks very very well done. Uh, that's certainly better theme than the Smiler uh, Saw, but um, yeah, uh, Wicker Man, the Swarm and Saw are the best theme rides in the UK. After that, probably Nemesis or something. Um, Nemesis yeah. looks good. I do I do think uh, Wicker Man is very mm. overrated by some people though. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's like my second favourite coaster in the UK. Like, and then I think it still would be a good coaster without theming, but I'd put it like much lower in my top 10. If you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Um, and then Nemesis, for me, I don't think the Smiler will take it over Nemesis if it takes it. Like, with Nemesis and Wicker Man, I don't think it'll take. I think if I enjoy it, it'll be number three. Um, I might be wrong. If I don't like it, Maybe, you know. I might. You know, if I do hate it, I think me and Jay should do a collab of how much we hate it, because he's already done a rant review. Should I say? I think <laughs> we. And then, yeah. Um, I don't know what I'll think of it. Like, how how am I supposed to know? I've not written really anything similar to it. I'm just saying that I don't think inversions necessarily make a better coaster. So. It's weird, you know, I'm going to end in... I think there's a massive age thing with the Smiley, you know, with its fans. I feel like a lot of younger enthusiasts are the ones who like it, because a lot of big YouTube channels don't. You get what I mean? I guess I'd have to say, because you know I'm a lot of being big... it. I don't know what you're going to think of. I can't 
I can't imagine what you'd think. You seem to think you'll like it, so you probably will, but... I'll definitely like it, 100%. It looks amazing. But what if it's, like, much rougher than you expect? Then you won't. It won't be as rough as Colossus. Like, I know that for a fact. It you know won't it for be a as fact. rough as Colossus. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but Jay doesn't think so, does he? Well, that's just him. Well, that's just Everybody it. has different opinions. Exa so. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You could think Colossus is smoother, which would be hilarious. Oh, yeah, I, I will never, ever, ever How, how much that. should I bet that you'll think Colossus is smoother? I, I will never think Colossus is smoother. Like, that is just impossible. Like, I will never, ever think that. Never, ever. Never, ever. I, I just know that for a fact. Like It's a fact. She says it's a fact. It might be a fact. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I'll update you on that. Like, next in week, episode, in the next, but... it'll be next episode because uh, I, I doubt we'll have recorded one by then. We'll, we'll yeah, well, another... yeah, we're going to have a lot of But like, I know what my answer will be. I know so, what it will be. Unless it's shut, but it better not be. That'd be really annoying. It was <laughs> shut. It was... Oh, I've just destroyed the furnace and I didn't use my pickaxe. Whoops. <laughs> Right, I think we're going to sleep now and then we need to end because um, we've been recording for ages. We've talked about a lot this episode and I don't think I've done very much, but it has been a bit of an adventure, hasn't it? Should we end in your house? I can do, I'm just killing a spider. All right. All right, please sleep. And end in my epic house. I've still only just started mine. And then next episode, I'm guessing you're going to do some mining and I'll finish my house. Yeah, probably. I might start building some track. So oh, you're gonna start. You, going. You're gonna start the coaster itself, are you? Yeah, yeah. I could do. Right. Well, I, I think where we should, I, where I'd recommend, recommend. I'll tell you now. Those mountains in front of your house is, I think, would be great if you. Those used. would be yeah, yeah, great terrain to like build it around. Like that's perfect. Like we're we're in a perfect area, really. Here, you know, we've got extreme hills by on there. We've got forest there for woods, uh, and then we're in plains, obviously. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go back to your house and end this off. I love... She's used the carpet trick as well. I love how you've done that. You've used the carpet. Yeah, that's... She knows the stuff, insane. guys. She knows the stuff. Right, are you going to come back yeah. here? Or, or should, are you going to come back? Come in. A nice glass roof. It's a shame I can't live I know. Here. Shame I can't live. Exactly, it is a shame. My isn't it? my my best For you. my best friend is gonna be putting in the comments, and you know who you are if you're watching. I'll say your name, shall I, Josh? Just so we don't confuse both Jays. Is gonna be theme park mad is gonna be commenting on this video, addressing some of the stuff I've said in this, because I know he has some strong opinions about it, and he's not necessarily the same as me. So yeah, this is gonna be probably funny in the comments. Um. Yeah, be sure to write in the comments, Josh. You know, everyone comment. Whatever you... Just comment something. And Just comment whether you prefer um, Thor or Smiler. Because uh, that's quite a... That could be an interesting one, actually. I think I'll prefer Thor, but... Yeah. yeah, same with me, but... Yeah, see? See? She's sensible. Only joking. Everyone has their own opinion, but yeah. Um, I think because of the theming and that. And it's probably smoother as well. So, and it has a beyond vertical drop, which the Smiler does not yeah. have. <laughs> and I, love I feel it. like it's more than just inversions, if you know what I mean. Plus, the indoor bit's better. Exactly, you get what I mean. The Smiler's just inversions in a couple of airtime hills. Source inversions, theming, airtime hill, and beyond vertical drop. Do you see? I want variety in a coaster. That's why I like Icon. Anyway, anyway I'm waffling now. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell uh, to enable notifications so you don't miss out any future episodes. Um, this has been an interesting one. Uh, it started off well. Obviously, I got killed by Kirsten's dogs and I'm not forgiving her or the dogs for that. Uh, I found my way back. And then we pretty much started work on houses, farms and stuff. Kirsten still won't let me live here, which I'm not happy about. But thank you all very much for, uh, for watching. It's been a great start. You know, great new beginning here in this new area. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Are you saying bye? <laughs>
I wonder where she is. Are you still here, Kirsten? Yeah, I said bye. Hello. It, it, cut, it completely cut off. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Right. Bye. Uh, bye. Bye.